the 1970s, Bertoni presented a design study of the Stratos. But the idea of a super sports car could not really be transported in the light of a used four-cylinder engine of the Lancia Fulvia. The driver's position directly on the front axle was unconvincing. In addition, it was the unusual access from the top at the drop-down door in the front. So this first draft disappeared back in the drawer. As rally sport is gaining importance in the beginning of the 70s, rally team manager Cesare Fiorio fights for the approval of constructing a new project. A roadworthy vehicle that is specially constructed for the motorsport's use. This future sports car is fitted with a Ferrari 6-cylinder from the Dino 246. In the beginning the 2.4-litre unit with three carburetors produced 240 horsepower. In the following evolution stages 270 horsepower and 330 horsepower. The launcher engineers developed a hand-built steel monocoque for the racer, attached to the subframe with engine and front suspension. This way the weight of 960 kg was kept. Bertone designed a glass fiber reinforcement plastic body of the front and rear cover, which can be completely removed. The 5-speed gearbox is changeable in just a few minutes, what can be decisive in rallying. The Lancia Stratus HF excited the audience in 1971 at the Turin Motor Show. It is unconfirmed how many units actually were built and figures are based on the estimate of Bertone. But it is believed there are about 500 models of the road version Stradale. This version had to be built at least 400 times for receiving the homologation for the Stratos race cars. At the beginning of the 1970s, the FIA had reduced the obligation number from 500 to 400. The V6 engine on the Ferrari 246 GT was mounted in the rear. The 2.4-litre engine with a 12-valve cylinder head and a maximum output of 195 horsepower reached a 100 km per hour mark from standing in 6.8 seconds and a top speed of 248 km an hour. As in the Ferrari 246 GT versions, the engine is not fitted lengthwise, but crosswise over the rear axle. This way, the mid-engine road athlete gains high stability. With his 3.67 meters length and a wheelbase of 2.16 meters, the Stratos becomes a compact missile. Comfort and extras are missing in the interior. Whoever squeezes himself into the bucket seats witnesses haughtiness. Lancia became world champion in 1974, 1975 and 1976 and won a total of 18 World Cup victories with the Stratos, one of the most successful rally cars of all time. The street version remained below expectations and so it is told that the original purchase price of 40,500 Deutschmark in Germany was dropped down at the end to 15,000 Deutschmarks. Today, the Lancia Stratos is an extremely refined vintage collectible.